Hi, I'm Paul at One Man One Dog, and this is a mental flow. She's just checking my boots out. Um, she's on one as usual. So this video is my mate X story, and it's part four. So in part one, stop it, flow. Be careful. In part one, it's the unboxing of the mate X. In part two, it's where the motor dies going uphill. In part three is where he attempts to fix it and it don't work. This um, is part four, the last ditched attempt at fixing it. And yeah, you'll see in the video, um, yeah, basically it's a fail. Um, the motor's ruined, as you'll see in the video. So let's do it. Okay, so it's chaotic in here, but the Mate X is upside down still. And just show you what i'm doing so i've got the face here off the hub and i've took the hub out so as you can see in there um it's got a bit of grease but it's not stayed on very well from the last time i did it and here's the motor here look at all this grease i've got on my carpet wounded so there's still not much grease on these cogs if you look um so i'm going to re-grease it again and have a look at it um have a look at some parts someone was saying about lining the uh, hull sensors up and so i'm going to grease it and have a look at it yeah so i'll catch up in a bit but the thousand watt wheel that i've ordered i've cancelled it i've got it on paypal credit can't afford it really need to fix this and and at the end of the day, if it's working, but it's loud, um, that don't matter. As long as it works, I'm not bothered. Grease on my wheel too. Got it everywhere. Right, okay, I'm going to get some gloves on and have a mess. I'll catch up and um, see what I've done in a minute. Okay, so I've greased it. I got um, more grease out, if you can see there, the black stuff, it was really thick and it didn't seem to be um, very smooth on the gears. So I've greased it with this stuff, as you can see here, um, I've had it for years, this stuff, white grease. On part three where I attempt to fix a motor but it's still noisy, someone put a comment saying replace the gears. But the gears don't seem nicer when they spin it, when it's out of the hub. Um, so I'm going to stick it back on the Mate X and give it a test. Catch up in a minute. But the puppy's crying, so I'm going to go and see what she's up to. Right, I'm going to fit it and just test it. But I'm not going to fit the rotor because my mate said, um, that's Rusky's Adventures, a fellow YouTuber and my friend, he said because I've touched the dish rotor with grease on my hands, um, I'll need to degrease it with brake cleaner. So I'm not going to fit the rotor. I'm going to get the wheel on and see what it sounds like. And that's going to be next. Right, okay, I've got the wheel on. Like I said, it's not got the rotor on. Um, I've got it all switched on. I've got it in PAS 5. I don't think it matters with the throttle. And in part 3, this is what it sounded like when I first tried fixing it. <laughs> Right, so let's give it a test. First of all, I'll try pedalling. So it's still noisy. So it's still noisy, but it is quieter. Um, give it a try on the throttle. So GoPro Max in left hand, throttle in right hand. Yeah, I don't think that's that bad. Um, yeah, I sprayed a load of this white grease in it and it seems better. 
So what I might do is clean my rotor and it's not raining at the minute. I might take it a quick ride and then bring it back in and then strip it all apart and re-grease it again and see if that helps let the grease run through the motor. Um, and I want to see how it rides as well. So um, yeah, I think I'll throw the dish rotor back on next. Okay. Okay. Started looking at the Tetro brake and ball bearings fell out of it don't know where they've come from like um so that's another thing on my mate x that's broke so i bought some disc brakes a while back and it's this disc brake set and it was eight pound from china so i've just fitted that brake now so let me just show you um so pedaling yeah and then the brake just watch how sharp it is um really sharp um quite good brakes actually i just fitted the bolt on there and there and tightened these up underneath there the brand of it is tonglai i think yeah t-o-n-g-l-i tonglai so i'm going to do a few bits i've got to put the front wheel on because i took that off messing about with it right okay so when i was just running my motor before it stopped working and i think the battery's run out because it's not been charged for a long time then hopefully i can take it for a ride before it rains and um, because it's gone very gray okay okay so i'll just remove the rear mug guard because they can be problematic and make noise so i've removed that and i've opened the frame i've took my battery out which i have to do because um, the charger won't fit in the frame what i've got um and a lot of people do that anyway so that's not a problem but um got it on charge it's a slow charger at two amps so it's been on charge about two and a half hours and now it's r3 so it won't be done by r5 when the sun sets so the ride will be tomorrow to see what it's like right okay and i'll catch up with you when it's charged outside tomorrow probably on borsha bridge go right down the canal okay right okay so I'm taking it for a test ride. It's saying hall sensor error and stopping and starting. Like that, it's just stopped now. Error current 21H. And then it'll start again. The throttle won't work, so I've just come here, gonna ride it back home. Don't know what to do. Um, it's 20% off on eBay at the minute. I might order a thousand watt wheel. Now I've got 20% off, because um, this is no good. All the throttle's working. As you can see, it's not very good, is it? Don't want to get it filthy. It is quieter, but what's this all error sensor? All sensor error. Okay, so you've seen in the video, um, it's got hall sensor errors um, and it needs soldering and taking apart way above my skill level. I won't be able to do it. 
So, so it's the end of a mate X, but it's the beginning of the flow rider mutant X. So in part five, you'll see what I've started to do on it. And I've already done work this week and it's not been edited yet, but it's been filmed on my GoPro. And right, okay. So this is the end of the video. You've been watching me, Paul, at one man one dog with, with my puppy man. Flo, who's always on one, um got pure energy, um she's top. Anyway, so consider subscribing. I'm not after making money off YouTube. I'm not after selling anything. I've got no ulterior motives or plans. I just like making videos. I've always made videos from being about eight years old and I love photography. Thanks for watching. Bye.